back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Shogun Hua vs Vulcan Ozdemir has been rebooked for UFC Hamburg's main event. This fight was originally going to take place as the co-main event on UFC Chile, which was headlined by Santiago Pozanibio and Kamaru Usman, but um, visa issues forced this fight off of the card and then Santiago Pozanibio suffered an injury, so that whole UFC Chile card may be rescheduled. But if that is the case, we're going to have this fight, Shogun vs. Ozdemir, rebooked from the co-main event of Chile to the main event of UFC Hamburg. And when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. You know, we were about to get this as a co-main event with a, a main event on top of it, Santiago Pozzanibio vs. Kamaru Usman. So I was like, what? Well, you know, it seemed like this might be a weaker card if they're going to make that co-main event a main event. But the UFC is just shaking things up. This is still a main event worthy fight. You know, if you stack the card, these are still two top 10 ranked light heavyweights in the world. Vulcan Ozdemir, former light heavyweight, just coming off of a title fight with Daniel Cormier, Shogun Hua, legend of the sport. And now the UFC has added another big light heavyweight fight. I don't know if this is the co-main event, but it's definitely co-main event worthy between Elir Latifi and and also Glover Teixeira, who's also fought for the UFC heavyweight title. Um, Glover Teixeira, another, you could say, legend of the sport, in my opinion, also versus Elir Latifi, a guy that could be fighting for the title soon, you know what I'm saying? Um, Elo Latifi had a very impressive win over Ovin St. Pru, a statement win when he called out Daniel Cormier. Um, but the problem with Elo Latifi fighting Daniel Cormier is the light heavyweight division is a little log jammed up right now with Alexander Gustafsson at the top. John Jones has been having his issues, so DC's the champion. But DC's about to be fighting Steve Miocic for the heavyweight title. So, um, meanwhile, you know, the fight that would be for the number one contender would be between Elo Latifi and Alexander Gustafsson. Gustafson, but the problem is they're teammates, so they're not going to be fighting anytime soon, or they're, actually they're not going to be fighting. Actually, they got another teammate in the top five. I believe it might be um, Jimmy, Jimmy Manuwa. so none of those guys uh, want to fight each other, so with that being said, this is why Eler Latifi would be taking a fight versus um, Glover Teixeira when he's really trying to get a title shot. It's because there's not many fights for him to take, even in the top five. DC's tied up, so he's probably not going to be getting this title shot. Maybe not even the next title shot. We still have to see how that fight plays out between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. We've still got to see... Um, what happens who's next for the title shot is John Jones coming back and what about Alexander Gustafson he's been he's there's talks of Alexander Gustafson fighting for an interim title and since these guys are teammates you know either Latifi's in a situation to where it's like I can either sit on the show hoping for a title shot or I can just keep fighting guys you know and wait you get my title shot that way and this is a big fight for him it's not like you know Glover Teixeira is actually a name that a lot of people would like to have a win over or a fight within their careers as a professional MMA fighter. Um, Shogun Hua, this might be his highest, his most high profile win actually. He's got the win over OSP, he's got the win come before that over Tyson Pedro. Um, so with that being said, I think Glover Teixeira is going to be his highest profile fight on his resume as far as uh, you know their careers are concerned. OSP is definitely a high profile fighter, but Glover Teixeira, I believe he's fought for the light heavyweight title and he's fought a lot of legends of the sport, the best guys of the sport. He's had fights with John Jones, Gustafson. I mean, all the best light heavyweights in the world, Glover Teixeira has fought. So this is gonna be a great fight as well, but this is just possibly the co-main event. It's not confirmed for the co-main event, but the main event for sure is gonna be Vulcan Ozdemir versus Shogun Hua. Another dope fight in the light heavyweight division. Maybe if Eli Latifi is able to win this fight and Vulcan Ozdemir wins his fight, those guys can, you know, be the next battle. That'd be a great fight because Vulcan Ozdemir is coming off a loss to Daniel Cormier. Then you got Eli Latifi on his way up to a title shot. Big win over OSP. If he can get a win over Glover Teixeira, then Eli Latifi might get one more uh, fight with Vulcan. And if he can get that win, he might be going for that title shot. So that's a real possibility. They're fighting on the same card. If they can both get Ws, that would make for another great light heavyweight fight. So I'm definitely going to be watching UFC Hamburg. Let the full time family know what you think about Vulcan Ozdemir versus Shogun Hua being rebooked for the main event of UFC Hamburg in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.